I think um, in terms of mental health and disability, um, we can talk to ourselves every day, all day, week in, week out, year in, year out, and we, we say what we know what we need. Like we know what the challenges are that leads people to live on the streets and end up in the justice system. We know how people end up in public psychiatric wards and in and out of those places, and you know, it's just a revolving door. We know because, like you say, we've lived it. You know, looking at me, you wouldn't know I've lived on the streets. You wouldn't know that I came from a really dysfunctional place growing up and no access to education whatsoever. Just didn't even, it wasn't really in our constitution, as you might say, <laughs> you know. So it was a trajectory that I ended up in the public psych system, not running it. So <laughs> there's still time. <laughs> <laughs> but I think what can we do to incorporate some of this living experience? I think, you know, the arts and, and the arts is where the healing lies, I think, for a lot of stories and a lot of community. And I, I would love to see this country respect the arts and respect the way we move through nature because people who, you know, been wounded with trauma, we just know the value of nature. We, we just, we crave grass and trees. When we're in a psych ward, we're like, can, can, we, can we get outside for some fresh air? And most psych wards in this country don't have courtyards without people smoking in them. So, you know, it's listening to that. <laughs>